regard myself as a soldier, though a soldier of peace. Hey, what's up, peoples? This is Free Soldier. Yeah, I know it's been a while, and I'm just getting back to you guys. And, uh, I've been quite busy lately doing all kinds of things. Uh, doing work with uh, peoples with disabilities, people first. I'm going to leave a link for People First and uh, wherever you guys live, there should be a chapter of People First and if not, uh, you guys can make one if you're really interested. I can do some reading on it. But I've been working with them as well as I was a Vista for a little while and I'll leave a link with that. You can volunteer in uh, Service to America is what it stands for. I was doing that for a while, and I've been busy being a father, and uh, which is quite a challenge. If anybody out there who is a dad, uh, you should know it's quite a challenge. Just the everyday ups and downs of being a dad is is uh, overwhelming sometimes, yet really rewarding. And so that's what I've been up to. So. There's my short little update since it's been like, man, it's been a long time since I made a video like this, so. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to the point of why I'm making the video and what what spurred my, uh, my momentary action to get this video out, which I was thinking about uh, Michael Vick and the whole thing that he's going through and how he had trouble getting signed because of this dog fighting and how he uh, he went to jail and lost his sponsorships and, and I was thinking about how he fought dogs and he got arrested which to me I think he, needs, he needed to be punished because there's no reason for him to be putting the dogs through that but I was thinking about that and comparing him to George Bush or Dick Cheney, or Rumsfeld, or any of those guys that started the Iraq War who are not fighting dogs, but fighting humans. And I'm not saying that dogs are better than humans, or humans are better than dogs. That's a different discussion. What I'm saying is just putting the two in the same realm for a moment that they sit back and watch the fight and gain something from the fight. And it's, it's sad to know that somebody can get away with fighting humans and get off scot-free. Because, yeah, uh, the 21st of September is World Peace Day, and here we are still at war with soldiers dying daily and people fighting for a reason. They don't even know the reason, but they're fighting for a reason that these people in their suits and suits and ties and their big desks and their caviar fighting for those people in the trenches with, with camouflage and sweating in the 120 degree heat and sh shooting at people who they think are the enemy but they really even, don't even know why they're the enemy Oftentimes they become the enemy because of the fact that there's somebody with a gun walking around. And it's just sad to know that somebody that is fighting humans like that, like George Bush and Dick Cheney and Rumsfeld, have no, no punishment, no repercussion. But somebody that fights dogs like Michael Vick loses his sponsorships, goes to prison, uh, has trouble getting signed as a professional. And those same consequences do not do not tie over into fighting humans. 
they do not uh, apply to fighting humans. And it makes no sense to me when when are we going to catch up as a society to where we have war criminals, like real war criminals every day. There's these wars being fought and people dying and these atrocities being being done in, in the name of a flag or in the name of democracy and these atrocities are being committed and oftentimes people are being put in the position where they have no choice but to commit these atrocities when they are tricked into signing a signing a waiver to say that they are going to serve in the military to get education because they can't afford education and to earn that education they have to go to war and they have to become a soldier just like the dogs to earn that meal to earn that food they have to fight just like Michael Vick's dogs and Michael Vick got prosecuted there was a court of justice for Michael Vick for his dog fighting is there a court of justice for George Bush Dick Cheney and Rumsfeld for their people fighting So, I'm just one person, one free soul in this world of, of a billion humans, excuse me, over six billion humans, but the number doesn't matter, it could be a billion, it could be ten billion, if there's no justice, what does the number matter, you know? On this world peace day, let's think of justice. And let's think of prosecuting the real criminals rather than the, the easy criminals to prosecute. The easy catch. Sorry to bring such uh, a heavy thought upon you, but we have to think about these things at times. And I think on World Peace Day we have to think about peace and how we're going to bring about it. And I think one way is by stopping war and stopping the, the want to commit war, to put soldiers in action. If leaders don't want to do it, they won't do it. And so far it's been easy for them because there's no just excuse me, there's no justice for them. They seem to always get off because of their positions and their handshakes. So let's think about that on World Peace Day. So until next time, this is Free Soul John with Peace. Keep the peace. Lord, it don't matter what you've been told, you are a free 